Donna. Well, last week we launched a new segment on Studio 10, saluting ordinary and extraordinary Australians. It's brought to you by Included Charity, and we're asking, what sort of legacy do you want to leave? by winning one of the most prestigious writing awards in the country, the Miles Franklin Literary Award. Please welcome Sophie Laguna to Studio 10. Sophie, welcome. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about your book. My book is about an unconventional little boy called Jimmy Flick who lives with his mother and father in the industrial suburb, western industrial suburb of Melbourne called Altona. And I suppose if Jimmy was around today, he would be diagnosed as autistic but I see him as wildly original and, and has a really magical way of decoding his very challenging circumstances. Jimmy's father, Gavin, drinks too much and on the weekends he becomes violent with Jimmy's mother, Paula, and Jimmy has to find a way to survive this. And I suppose that's what the book is, his exploration of survival. It's a beautiful book. Congratulations, oh, thank Sophie. You, thank it's you. just wonderful. Thanks. Now, the award that you've got, it's part of the incredible legacy left by one remarkable Australian woman. Tell us a bit about Miles Franklin. She was remarkable. That's a really good word for her. She was uh, born in 1879, when it was particularly difficult, I suppose, for women's writing to be taken seriously, and yet she was faithful to her dream of being a writer. She published her first book when she was, I think, 22. She self-published My Brilliant Career and uh, she, she was a devotee of Australian writing and she believed passionately in it. And when uh, Miles Franklin died in 1954, she left her savings of £9,000 to be set up uh, to be the Miles Franklin Award for future novelists. Mm. Oh, it's a lovely, it's a lovely story. I, I think Miles Franklin mm. made such a difference to us all. Now, look, we all want to leave a lasting legacy. Well, most of us do. Yet so few of us actually get, you know, ask the recipient or, or actually do as a recipient of someone whose legacy has received so much. What's, what's your advice? I mean, you've been very fortunate to get this, I would think. I, I do feel fortunate and um, I, I feel hugely grateful to, to Miles Franklin and I'm aware of now the impact of leaving a legacy. Uh, I have two very young sons so naturally once you know you have children things change because their future matters so much. So, But I'd like to think that for them to see their mo a, 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 to have a mother who has been faithful to her own dreams, who has written, who has uh, taken risks. I hope that that sets them in good stead for their own futures. Um, but, you know, I was lucky enough on the weekend to see Julia Gillard speak about the work that she's doing now to ensure that children, girls really, across the world are educated at the same rate as boys are, and it's still a huge challenge. And, you know, I was thinking, I was privileged enough to have a fantastic education and that's enabled me to write the books that I do. Wouldn't it be wonderful if I could set up in some way some kind of scholarship for, for girls in countries where it's much more difficult to have access to education in the future? So it's is, a dream. I'm, it's a sort of information at the moment. Yeah. So, so is that what you're doing, Sophie? Is that going to be your legacy? <laughs> I'd like to think I'd like to think it might be. Hopefully I have time to put a little more thought into how I might set it up. Of course my children will be my own children have to be set up first. <laughs> but um, wouldn't it be wonderful if that's mm -hmm. something that I could leave behind, if my books could do that for me and, and for and for future women. It would be fantastic. Yeah, I'm sure Certainly if anyone's would. can, yours can. Mm. <laughs> Sophie, thank thanks you. so much for joining us and congratulations right. on the book. Thank you. Thanks board. for having me. Thank you. And if you want to leave a legacy, head to includeacharity.com.au and help the work live on. These guys do a great job with over 140 charities to choose from. Their ultimate goal is to encourage all of us to think about leaving a gift in our will. Mm. Included Charity Week runs from September 7 to the 13th. Great right idea. Well, still to come on Studio 10, what to do if you catch someone stealing from the collection plate. Ooh, and is the great Australian dream now out of reach? We'll talk about that and heaps more after the break. <laughs>